you were just charged with uh, stunt driving or racing in Ontario. So let's start with the basics of the stunt driving laws in Ontario. And it's important to understand this before you even think about getting to your court date and trying to speak with a provincial prosecutor. The law is very simple for the province to convict you, of course. All the province needs to prove is the radar or the laser and the calibration of the device and the credibility of the officer. Of course, uh, this assumes your stunt driving charge was based on uh, a speed and not on another factor. So for the sake of this video, let's assume that you were caught at a speed above 40 kilometers per hour in a posted zone of less than 80 kilometers per hour, or you were caught at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour or more in a um, posted zone of 80 kilometers per hour or above. And it will all become clear when the officer submits the evidence to the court because that evidence will contain all of the details about the roadside charge. And this includes the, um, the interaction, the time, the details, the radar, the laser, the calibration, etc. So there's no need to try to debate the evidence before the officer submits it to the court. And uh, because this is where the details become important, not before. So now that the province has the evidence, here's what not to do. Now remember, all the province needs to do, as I said before, is prove the speed. So with that in mind, don't try arguing this. It was an emergency. I had to go to the hospital. I had to use the washroom. I changed medications. I was upset about uh, a personal issue. The car is new and I didn't realize the speed. The car is old and the speedometer isn't working. Um, the speed limit changed and I wasn't, or, uh, or I wasn't feeling well, or it was late and I was tired, or I had to pass another car, or I thought I was in danger from a car following me the officer wasn't nice to me at the scene or any other excuse that I haven't listed above. Now, of course, there are exceptions to this. Um, the video doesn't cover all these circumstances. However, the only question you need to ask yourself with all of the above excuses is, do any of these excuses change the speed and or the radar? Do they change the credibility of the officer? The answer is most likely no. So once you get to court, you're no longer dealing with the officer. You're dealing with a provincial prosecutor that only needs to prove the radar or the laser and that's it so at this point get legal advice because your license is on the line for one to three years of a license suspension get a free call with a law firm that specializes in stunt driving in ontario and understand a proper strategy and how to deal with the penalties of this serious charge